We're here with Cal Poly head coach um, Donnell Bishop. Please introduce your players and then give an opening statement about the game. Yep, to my right I have Brianne Ha, and to my left I have Kalea Bugs. Um, tough game, different matchup for us. Uh, we hadn't seen all season a uh, post player, let alone two, but one like Brooke. Um, although we, I, I've seen her before over the last couple of years, and uh, she's a heck of a player. Um, just really caused some matchup problems uh, for us, especially when one of our other uh, post players went down with an injury early on. Um, I was proud of our players. We really battled. Uh, we fought. We gave ourselves a chance. Um, and that's what this team's done all year. Um, we return everybody but two players, uh, which is really exciting. Our starting lineup all returns. Um, you know, you hate moral victories. Um, at this one, I think we have a, a young team, a lot of new players. is a great opportunity at this level against a really good team. And for us to be in the game um, in, the, uh, in the way that we were, I think um, just the future is just really bright for Cal Poly. It means everything. Like I came to Cal Poly to like um, I don't know, like when I play basketball I wanna like make a statement and like I guess shooting is definitely one of the things that I do best, so I'm glad that I could like write my name in history for that. And then uh Kalea, you know, just like the CCA quarterfinal game against Sonoma City, you guys had four players in double digits. Um, yeah, I think we've kind of emphasized that all year, um, and it kind of showed in the conference tournament and, and today. I mean, I guess it's better late than never, but um, I think everyone is just, was just starting to feel more comfortable in their roles and within each other, so it showed in the court, and they were able to come in and um, make the contribution whenever they came off the bench. So, yeah. um, before I get into, like, uh, about the game, um, you know, when did you guys, like, reflect on the season? ups and downs definitely but I think there's a lot of potential and I think we all saw that we're very young like coach said like we only have two seniors um, so I think the fact that we have so many people returning um, and so many people that contribute that contributed that were also young as well like that just shows um, the amount of potential that we have as a team for next year um, so the future is definitely really bright I mean obviously we lost some tough games um, we lost today but at the end of the day like they were all learning lessons and I'm glad that we kind of went through it so that way we can we can just realize how like understand how it is to be in those situations and hopefully next year we can make the adjustments during that time. Um, you got another question. So in the first quarter I noticed you guys started with Snipe. Would you guys make that substitution? Yeah, I think just sometimes different weeks. I mean, we rotate our lineup a little bit, and um, we are just because they're a little bit bigger. Um, Andrea is actually really a three guard, so we've had to ask her, even Jeanette, to play a lot of post defense. Um, and so my Drea Moore is just a little bit uh, more used at post defense from high school and also most of this season. So um, it was just you know, uh, kind of going with a little bit more offensive lineup initially, and then kind of me recognizing right away, hey, let's get my Drea in just to see if that will help us defensively. She's a fighter. <laughs> she's a fighter. We're the ones that like actually have to like tell her to step off and like like take a break. Like we need you. Like we, you can't keep pushing your body past the limit because we need you for these games. But she really leaves it all out on the floor. And so they.
they feel grateful for her. Yeah. In the time when she was on um, and even came back and her rib was still hurting her, um, I mean, she got some key defensive stops, um, hit some big hit some big shots. Hit I mean, she was mixing it up. I think everybody in the gym could see she could flat out score it. We had some matchup problems with her in there. Um, but more importantly, like, um, you know, just she talks a lot about just her, her culture and bringing that culture to our team, and it's all about family. And I think that's that she's she's glue when she's out there. So it, it's really, um, for me as a coach, um, you know, we preach about family and no family's perfect. Um, but for her to come out and really bring that in practice every day and really show that she has everybody's backs, um, she's, I guess what I'm really trying to say is she's a great basketball player and just a tremendous human being. Yeah, it was one of the first things we all did in there was just really highlight our two seniors, um, uh, City Fedenis and Reina Saucedo, and um, just how much they've brought to our program and epitome of what it is to be a Cal Poly Pomona Bronco and um, and what that means is, you know, sacrificing daily both on and off the court. They're tremendous people, um, awesome in the classroom, and they've really grown to be some great leaders, especially for a young team this year. Um, and so I'm, I'm so grateful, and I know these two are as well, um, you know, just to have them a part of our program. Um, and we're really excited for their future too and, and what they're going to be doing. So, um, yeah, it just really means a lot to have them here. Um, and then just closing arguments, um, I obviously wish we would have won, and I think we had chances to win. Um, but, you know, just moving forward, I think we're just going to keep getting better and um, bringing in a couple more added key pieces as well. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm really excited. This is I, I've said this on multiple interviews that this is my hardest working team, and I think you can see out there that they are, and they leave it all on the floor. And so I think if we can keep building on that and um, just keep improving here in the off season, um, I'm really excited for this program.